The watchdog Stop Anti-Semitism has their nominees out for the 2023 Anti-Semite of the Year. We're going to tell you who they are, and you can pick your favorite because the winner will be announced in a couple weeks. This is interesting, speaking about votes. Stop Anti-Semitism is a nonprofit watchdog group organized and dedicated to exposing anti-Semitism. Uh, the three finalists have been announced for Anti-Semite of the Year in 2023. Um, there's already 10,000 votes in, and they're going to announce the winner in a week and a half on January 8th. Uh, here are the finalists. I'm going to show them to you. This is Ishmael uh, Hanea. Uh, this is him in a good looking picture. This is the head of Hamas. The reason he looks so good is he's got about three or four billion dollars stashed away. He lives in Qatar, flies on private jets, lives the life of a multi billionaire, has never had a job other than stealing money from the European Union, the UN, and the United States. He's the guy behind the October 7th massacre that he made a speech on television and said it was the greatest victory ever. And he has been leading Hamas since they took over in an armed rebellion in 2007 and killed all their Arab uh, competitors, specifically the Palestinians who supported the PLA. Nominee number two. <laughs> this is who I think will get it. That very happy young lady is Rashida Tlaib. She's, a, as everyone knows from this show, an American Democrat congresswoman, I'm embarrassed to say, who blamed the October 7th massacre on Israel. Uh-huh. She also blamed the hospital bombing on Israel in spite of the fact that every single European country and the UN and the United States have all seen the, the tapes that prove it was a rocket launched by Islamic Jihad that hit the parking lot of the hospital that didn't hit the hospital. And of course, she never walked that back. She calls for Palestine to be free from the river to the sea, which is calling for genocide of all the 7 million Jews that live between the river and the sea. And she goes on and on and on about Israel. And nominee number three, the one with maybe the least amount of IQ. She got heavy in the beauty department <laughs> and had to give up IQ points for it. This is Gigi Hadid. She's a supermodel and an influencer who says nothing but really stupid stuff that I guess she inherited from her bankrupt father, who was a big real estate developer until he went broke in LA, uh, named ha Mohammed Hadid. She says that Israel is the only country in the world that keeps prisoners of war that are children. They invade Palestinian territories to rape, humiliate, torture, and murder. They're the leading country in depravity. On and on and on. They steal Arab babies. They steal their blood. She goes, I mean, she just says some really, really, really horrible stuff. And then when her followers, of which there are the millions, point out that she might be a little bit wrong, she'll say, oh, well, I didn't investigate. I just retweeted what someone else tweeted, but takes no responsibility. Do you have a favorite for anti-Semite of the year? I mean, you almost have to vote for, for Hanea because... I mean, they did kill thousands because of the massacre. He did plan it. What do you think? He, he's uh, he's living in Qatar. Yeah, he's in Qatar. Yeah, he, he's got four billion. He's in Qatar. Uh, it's, it's pronounced Qatar. Okay, yeah. So, hmm, that's a really tough one because then you got Rashida <laughs> Tlaib. I mean, you know, uh, that the bag of rocks is like you know dumber than a bag of rocks, and then then the last one, the last one has looks for her. you. Have to admit that she was probably oh she's she's, 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 she's dumb as all get out, dumb as all get out, right, right. But you know that's how it happens. She's easy on the eyes. So if we were going easy on the eyes, then it would be her. But we're going on actual common sense thinking here. Hmm. I guess the, I guess I mean Rashida Tlaib. She's 
Ooh, it's it's a, it's a really struggle between. I the know they're Mary. all great candidates. Yeah, they're it's a really com- struggle. It's a really struggle. I mean, but, but but if you want to talk about who's doing the most damage, it would have to go to him because he's actually getting them to go in there and you know take their you know do this hor- horrible things. And but Rashida Tlaib, she has she's the connection of maybe getting Joe Biden not to be reelected too. So I don't know, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in two weeks. We'll do a show on it after they crown the winner. Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be it. <laughs>